How to use Pixlr. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. Hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use one of the best free online photo editors around, Pixlr. I'll also be showing you some of their numerous free offers that you can use to help you with editing and also creating beautiful photos, thumbnails, and so on. The first thing you want to do once on Pixlr.com you will simply tap on sign up in the top right hand corner right where you see my name right there and once you have signed up using your email address you'll be led to this dashboard and by the way if you simply want to remove a photo's background all you'll have to do is tap right where you see the four dots in the top right hand corner then from there you could select remove bg after you have selected remove bg you could tap on the plus right here that says select photo and after tapping on the plus right there you can select any photo so let's say for example i want to select a random photo or you can select numerous photos so let's say i select this one right here all you have to do is tap on it then you will select open after you have selected open you can see that the background has now been removed so all you'll need to do is tap on save and you'll be able to save your photo without a background as you can see right there. It is quite easy to do. Now let's go back so we can sh so I can show you some more features of Pixlr. So let's go back to the main page right here. So once on Pixlr again, all you'll need to do is scroll down and if you would like to create an AI photo, all you have to do is tap right where you see AI image generator. After you have done that, you can type in the prompt in the search bar right here. So let's say I want to create a beautiful, beautiful sunrise over a mountain. So I'll type it in right here. Then I'll tap on generate. After you have done that, you'll give it a few seconds and you have the option to generate up to five AI photos. Then you'll scroll down and you can see it right there how it looks. And you can select whether you would like to get more variations or you can tap on the particular image. So let's say I tap on open. Then after you have tapped on open, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you could start editing the image. So all you'll have to do is go over to the left-hand menu option. And from there, you'll see numerous options. So for example, if I would like to add animation, so if I'd like the image to fade, as you can see right there, I can do that. If I would like it to rise or so on, I could do that. But before getting to the editing section, there are a few things that I would like to show you before. As with Pixlr, I don't know if you have any prior knowledge or experience with Canva, as I think Pixlr has a lot of things similar to Canva. For example, you can use numerous templates that they provide you with. All you'll need to do, for example, you could tap on their template library right here. Once you have tapped on their template library, from the left hand menu option you can see if you want to create a TikTok video, Instagram post, YouTube thumbnail or anything overall, you can select it right here and you can also see the different templates right there and you could scroll down and you could select one of their recommended templates as you can see right here. The only thing with Pixlr compared to Canva is majority of their templates you would have to be on the paid plan to use it. So what I recommend you do, once you are on Pixlr, you could select any one of these if you want to go to their paid plan. But if you don't want to use the paid plan, all you'll need to do is go on to home. Once on home, you are going to see the option create new. You are going to tap right there. After you have selected create new, you can see the different sizes. And you can also create a custom design if you want by entering your own size right there. Then you are going to tap on create. After you have tapped on create, you will be redirected to this dashboard. 
and from here you can start editing. Once on this dashboard, the first thing we're going to do is go over to the top right hand corner, right where you see layer and we are going to tap on add layer. Then we are going to tap on image. After you have tapped on image, from here you can select the image that you would like to use. Also you could select AI generate if you want. So if you would like the AI to generate a new image, you could do that. Once you have selected the image, you are going to tap on open. After you have selected open, you can see that the image has now been added. Now it is time to do some editing. So the first thing you can do, you can extend the size of the image by simply pulling on the end to cover the entire canvas as you can see right here. Once you have done that, you can start adding some effects and so on. So from, from the left hand menu option, you'll see the option effect and you could tap on that. Then from there, you'll see numerous effects that you can use as you can see right here. So let's say for example, I would like to use this effect. All I would have to do is tap right there. Then after tapping on that, you can see the different effects option and you can see how it would look right here. And then you can use the after you have selected an effect, if you would like to cut down or edit the effect, you can scroll down as you... After you have selected an effect, all you'll need to do now, as you can see, this is at 100%. So if I would like to change how it looks, all I would have to do is pull the slider to the left, as you can see right there. Also, to make any other changes to your image, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and again if you'd like the image to move a bit you can select animation if you would like to add a template or change the layout all you'll have to do is tap on the third icon from the top then from there you could select smart resize and it would cover the entire canvas also if you would like to change the background or so on you could tap on background and from there you could make some changes if you would like to add text, all you have to do is tap on the T right there. Then from there, you can select the text style that you want. For example, this one right here. After you have tapped on it, you'll be able to edit the text by simply tapping on the text box. You could type in your own text as you can see right here. Or you can move the text box to the size that you want or the placement that you want. Another thing that you can also do if you would like to add another element or another image, you could tap on add element and from there you could tap on the photo icon right here and you could add media from your device or you could scroll down and if you're on the paid plan, you could select one of these images. Also, if you would like to crop the image, you could tap on crop and rotate and from there if you would like to rotate the image, you could do that. If you would like to change the size or change the aspect, you could do that. If you would like to cut out a section, you'll simply tap on the scissor icon right there. But to use the cutout section, you would have to select the image, then you could do that. If you would like to add filters, you can also do that right here. And there are numerous editing options you can use as you can see right here. You can also use the retouch feature and you can also draw on it. And you can tap on preferences right there and from there you will see even more features. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do is tap on save in the bottom right hand corner. After you have tapped on save, you'll be led to this page and from here you can select how you would like to save your image. For example, if you would like it to be JPG or PNG, you can select the option as you can see right there and you can select whether you would like it to be transparent or not then you'll tap on save as and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe